CFI works. All modern electronic fuel injection systems work in essentially the same way. Many times a second, a handful of sensors translate various physical conditions both inside and outside the engine into electrical voltages, which supply the engine control unit, or ECU, with the information it needs to make fuel and timing adjustments. The ECU makes these adjustments from information found in user program tables. The ECU can operate in two different modes. They are called bank-to-bank -bank or sequential. A bank-to-bank -bank mode fires half of the engine's injectors every 180 degrees of engine rotation. This mode makes installation simpler by not requiring a camshaft position sensor. Sequential mode fires each injector individually, in sequence with your engine's firing order, once for every combustion event. There are also two different strategies you can use to tune your engine. They are speed density, or alpha N. Both strategies use the same tables and sensor inputs, but in different ways. Speed density will be used for most normally aspirated engine applications and all supercharged or turbocharged applications. Alpha N will only be used for extreme racing engine applications or engines that have less than 10 inches of vacuum at idle. The engine control unit, or ECU as it's called, is the brain of your EFI system. It controls what the engine does after receiving information from several sensors. Those sensors are crank and cam inputs. You will need a distributor or crank trigger that can give the ECU a signal so it can determine the engine's RPM. A typical V8 engine will need four pulses from every crank revolution. A cam input is recommended for sequential operation. It needs to show one pulse per camshaft revolution. The throttle position sensor, or TPS, tells the ECU how far open or closed the throttle blades in the throttle body are. The manifold absolute pressure sensor, or MAP, tells the ECU how much pressure, or vacuum, is in the intake manifold which helps the ECU determine how much load is on the engine. The coolant temperature sensor, or CTS, tells the ECU exactly what temperature the engine cooling is. The air temperature sensor, or ATS, tells the ECU exactly what temperature the air entering the engine is. The wideband O2 sensor, or WBO2, tells the ECU exactly what air fuel ratio the engine is operating at. It will be accurate from 9 to 1 through 16 to 1 air fuel ratios. ECU outputs. The ECU takes all the information from its input sensors and then outputs signals to various components. The most common components required to operate your engine are idle air control motor or IAC helps the ECU control the idle speed. Injectors. The fuel injectors deliver the fuel to your engine. They will need to be sized specifically for your engine combination. When ordering your new XFI system, you'll receive the engine control unit, wideband O2 sensor, and O2 jumper harness, CCOM XFI software CD, and communication cable to connect your laptop to your ECU, and your wiring harnesses. You'll need to specify your engine's firing order and the type of ignition source to make sure you get the correct harnesses. In a racing application, typically you'll use a crank trigger and an amplified ignition system. Our XFI system will work with any type of OE style ignition system like a GM HEI or a Ford TFI. You'll need to know this so you can order the proper ignition adapter like this GM HEI. Any electronic fuel injection system is only as good as the voltage behind it. You want to make sure and have a strong consistent charging system so that your EFI system works properly. Something such as this 140 amp alternator from FAST will help your system maintain correct voltage. Another part of the EFI equation is a strong fuel system. You'll need a fuel pump that can hold at least 45 psi of pressure constant. You'll need a pre and post filter. And you'll need a fuel regulator that'll hold at least 45 psi of pressure or more. Any OE fuel injected manifold will work with our new XFI system. If you don't have one, FAST fuel rails and injector bungs will help you create one. The last thing you'll need is a throttle body. Depending upon your application, there are several styles available, such as a four barrel or single bore style available from FAST. Hey Jay, you forgot the most important part, electronic fuel injectors. FAST has a full line of electronic fuel injectors from 24 pounds to 160 pounds an hour. This should get your project rolling.